I thought I'd take you to, along on the morning chores today. Uh, we slept in because it's the weekend, so we got some impatient birds. Uh, and we'll move the sheep. Cats have been fed. And then, um, yeah, I might do some, uh, some barn work or something to uh, prepare for the winter space for the birds. So let's go. Hi, duckies! Oh! I don't know if I caught that, but that was the goshawk has moved into our area. So we'll have to be careful today. We'll have to be outside with the ducks all, at all times. It's, it's really beautiful to see this predator around, but it makes things a bit more complicated. <clears throat> Good morning, chickens. Woo. So as you can see, we do chicken compost, throw everything in here, and then they pick through it, mix it up, add their manure, and we get some really great compost out of here. See if we got any eggs. Uh, just one. So these are fake eggs that we have in there to um, to trick them into laying more. When chickens go through molt, they uh, stop laying, and then it takes them a while to sort of get back into it. But uh, they will. Probably in a month or so, we'll be overwhelmed with eggs. We'll just have too many. Hi, beautifuls. Oh, I know what you want. They go nuts for this stuff, these pellets. There you go. There you go. All gone. So we made this this gate, and the sheep, they, they broke right through yesterday, and we had to go on this big walk with them because they were being so naughty. And then when we took, took them back and put them inside, they started going underneath. So we had to create this system so they wouldn't bust through. Winter's kind of been kicking our butts this year. It's been so cold and this is our third winter here and it has never been this cold this early. It's been like minus 10, minus 15, even minus 17 from the beginning of December. And usually the last two years we haven't had those kind of temperatures until, until January. So it's been pretty difficult to be honest. Uh, our animals have been struggling, our house has been struggling. We had frozen water in a kitchen and our shower and it just thawed and now it's been melting for the last couple of days but now it's gonna get down to minus 15 again so like all of that melted so it's gonna turn into ice and I'm wondering what it's gonna be like to try and drive out of here or walk or yeah last year we had a skating rink all the way down from our house down to the road but yeah it is so beautiful though. We got snow really early this winter and it's just so magical.
the ducks need the new bedding like every few days because they poop it down and then it gets all like wet and frosty or like the poop freezes and then it's not insulating anymore and that's probably how Stella got her frostbite. The other ones seem okay though. I haven't seen any of them having any issues. They're very cold, but I mean, they kind of, they're gonna have to deal with it. It's been melting for a little bit the last couple of days, but last night we got this little snow and it's just so beautiful on all the trees. We've been doing a lot better mentally this winter. I mean, it really helps to not live in a building zone and to have a nice warm house. But we've also been getting into hobbies. I've been knitting quite a lot. I knit this and three others. <laughs> And uh, that's helped so much, just like having something to do in the evenings that is relaxing but still feel productive. So I can't wait to get into even more hobbies and crafts and stuff because winter just started. So we have lots of time. But I think for the first time in a long time I'm actually enjoying this season and hibernating a bit and just closing off, sleeping more, slowing down, and just doing doing the bare minimum of work. And I just, it's just not the season to work. Yeah, I'm enjoying myself. Although it's been hard with the cold, it's been really, really cold. And it's not fun to like feel like your animals are not doing great. Wow, this is just, this is a perfect winter day. Hi, it's really cold. I'm struggling to speak. A couple of weeks ago, when we were doing the morning routine with the birds, we came out here and we were going to feed the ducks and they all came piling out like normal but Stella she was kind of fumbling falling over not being able to control her legs and we see that she has really severe frostbite so we took her in and we had her inside for like a month the first night was really critical I actually didn't think she was gonna make it because she was just in such bad shape but luckily after a couple of days she was starting to feel better after a couple of weeks, her tissue started to fall off, the tissue that, uh, that had gotten frostbite. I don't know if you can see, but some of her tissue between her toes have disappeared and the joint all the way to the left is gone with the claw and everything. Like if you see on these feet, there's a lot more tissue between the, between the bones. But she's doing a lot better and she's been out now for a few weeks and it doesn't seem like she's being bothered and she hasn't gotten an infection or anything, so that's good. I'm packing my things like with the chance that I should leave And waiting for sunrise so that someone may be seen I want the dream life with nothing
I almost walked into Tumus here earlier, which is why I came back with a camera. It was a mother and a baby or a teenager. Um, but yeah, I can't see them. They seem to have uh, moved when they heard that I came. So nice to be out today. It's not the first day of spring, but it's the first sign of spring and that winter will be over eventually. We haven't seen the sun in weeks now. Either it's been snowing and overcast or it's been raining and overcast. We've been really deep into hibernation and taking it easy. It's been really hard to leave as well because it's been melting so much. Or first we got so much snow and then it melted immediately. And it's just pure ice everywhere you go in this part of the country. Uh, but today is so nice. I walked up to this clear cut area. Um, it has a really nice view. And uh, it just feels so good to feel like your zone is kind of expanding a bit. Like you're not so locked on the farm. Can't wait for spring and the new season. It's gonna be so good. I'm ready. I feel recharged. And I'm like, I'm ready to get started. We still have like, we have at least two months until we can start working outside again. Winter is hard. Winter is long. It's all about surviving, not thriving. <laughs> Sheep hugs are the best hugs.